We will be solving the 2003 College Board AP Chemistry Free Response Question Number 3, Parts A through C. In order to compare the concentrations of each reactant and their effect on the rate, we will use experimental data given in this chart. Part A, letter I. To find the order of Br-, minus, we will verbally compare experiments 1 and 2 because the other reactants, BrO3 and H+, remain the same, while Br- and the rate are both multiplied by 2. Therefore, 2 to the A equals 2, and in solving this equation we see that A equals 1. So we know that it is first order with respect to B R minus. Okay. Part A I I. To find the order of B R O three minus, we will verbally compare experiments one and three, because both the concentrations of B R minus and H plus remain the same, while. The, the concentration of BrO3- minus is multiplied by 1.5, and the rate is multiplied by 1.5. Therefore, we can say that 1.5 to the B equals 1.5. In solving this equation, we see that B equals 1, meaning that it is first order with respect to BrO3-. minus. Part A, I, I, I. To find the order of H+, plus, we will use the mathematical analysis. The general formula for this is given as rate 1 over rate 2. Remember that the lowercase letters A, B, and C do not represent coefficients of the balanced equation. Instead, they represent orders of each reactant. I use experiment number 4 on top because its rate is larger and experiment number one on the bottom. Since we have already determined the order of Br- and BrO3 in the previous part A, we can replace lowercase letters A and B with ones because it's first, they are first order. We can also substitute the concentrations for each experiment which are given in the table. We are solving for C. Now we can cancel out units and constants and divide. It simplifies to 12 equals 3 times 2 to the C. We will divide both sides by 3 and come up with 4 equals 2 to the C. In solving this equation, we see that C equals 2, meaning it is second order with respect to H+. Plus. Part B. Write the rate law for the overall reaction. The generic rate law equation is given here. The modified rate law equation for this specific problem with the reactant substituted is given here. We will substitute the orders found in part A for lowercase a, b, and c to find the rate law for the overall reaction. Part C. Determine the value of the specific rate constant for the reaction at 298 Kelvin. Include the correct units. Part C is asking us to find K in the rate law equation. We will pick an experiment and substitute in data given in the chart to solve for K. I chose experiment number one and substituted in the data here. Next, we will solve for K. When solving for k, remember to square 0.1. I found k to be 5,000 molarity to the negative 3 seconds to the negative 1. 
Because correct units are very important in a specific rate constant problem, we will perform a unit analysis. The molarity seconds to the negative 1 comes from here. The molarity, molarity, and molarity squared come from here. We can cancel out the molarities and bring this molarity cubed up to the top by making it m to the negative 3. These units verify the units we found here.